March soap box from Baby Corn Soaps. I did an unboxing of their February one last month. And to be honest, I didn't think this March box could ever top how awesome the February one was. But I think it did. So I'm going to go through the items, read you the descriptions, as well as tell you what I think about them. There will be more concise reviews down in the description box. By the time this video goes live, I would have tried almost everything. This month's theme is Get Your Irish On. As with the previous box, you get a note that explains pretty much every item as well as their ingredients and their notes. I did not read this, so I thought I was missing one because this box, let me tell you, got here really, really early. I think the post office man was trying to deliver it before a snowstorm hit that day and I just like opened it up not even reading this so I thought I missed an item but really it was at the end of the rainbow meaning it was inside one of the products which is the first product we're going to talk about because it's really cute. This is the over the rainbow handcrafted sugar scrub and it looks kind of like candy if you look at it really quickly. I don't know if it's the packaging but I was like oh candy and it is eight ounces of product. This is huge and it is absolutely awesome. If you look inside it's just these colorful little blocks of scrubs. Very I think it's similar to the heart scrubs that were in last month's box, but I actually enjoy these a lot because one, they look really cute, and two, they smell amazing. So it says here, this magical scent is composed of top notes of fresh figs, peaches, and passion fruit drenched in coconut milk, vanilla, and caramel, and then sprinkled with brown sugar. And wait, this is the part I did not read. And wait, that's not all. There's always a prize at the bottom of your lucky charm. So only at the end of the rainbow will you discover your pot of gold, which is the last item that I thought was missing. It, it was down here, let me tell you. But since that's at the end of the rainbow, I'll be talking about that product last. So overall, I really enjoy these. I think the texture is really fun. The colors are fun and the scents are amazing and they are so cute. Moving on to the second item. This is the Sexy Leprechaun Handcrafted Fragrance Oil. So if you watched my February one, you know that I absolutely loved the Pink Sugar Con Candy one. I'm still using this. This is my baby. I don't want it to run out. This month is really interesting because it is actually their best-selling men's fragrance, Lumberjack. So um, it says it's an earthy concoction of, of lemongrass, fresh-cut grass, Indonesian teakwood, moss, sandalwood, mint, and amber. And it smells really, really good, actually. And just like the other oil, these are multi-purpose. So you can use this on your pressure points as perfume oil, put it in your bath water as a beard oil for your special lad, or you put it on um, some cotton balls and stick them in your sock drawer to keep everything smelling fresh, which is actually a really cool idea. I didn't think of that. The possibilities are endless like a rainbow and bottomless like a gallon of whiskey. I really love this paper because it's so witty. Um, I know exactly who to give this to and I think that's really cute. I think these scent things are awesome and you get a really good amount and this is really strong so you really don't need to be, if you're using this as cologne or as like a perfume oil, you really don't need too much with this because it is quite potent. Yeah, look at the little leprechaun in the back of this. So this is the Kiss Me I'm Irish Mint Chocolate Handcrafted Lip Scrub. This was so this smelled so good that you can smell it out of the foil packaging. You get a good amount of product with it and you just scrub, rinse, and lick it off. Kind of like you would with like a Lush lip scrub. And it really does smell like mint chocolate. I don't know how they get their scents to be so um, accurate. This is my second favorite of the bunch and it is a candle. This is the Bailey's Irish Cream Hot, Hot Chalk Shot. And it is a handcrafted soy candle. And it smells absolutely delicious. It smells just as good once you um, start burning it. I burned it in this room, so I closed the door just so that the scent can really fill up the room. I don't leave these type of candles in my living room because I feel like my living room is so big that I feel like it might not be strong enough or have enough to fill up the whole room. So I usually just stick to my room, which is pretty big on its own and I absolutely love it. I, okay, so we're down to the product that I didn't try, but they do have a demo of this on their Instagram, so I'll link it down below. And this is the Shamrock Bottom Handcrafted Bath Rock. So this, so this sinks to the bottom of your tub and you fill it with magical ingredients like olive oil and Epsom salt that helps you relax and unwind. Scented in a wonderful floral blend of clover, green grass, and white jasmine with hints of fresh cut wisteria. This one was interesting. I like how it's decorated. I like the shape of this. I haven't tried it yet, but once I do, I will kind of update you guys in the description. So we're down to the pot of gold, which is handcrafted soap, and it is three ounces, and that's what's in the bottom or at the end of the rainbow of the first product that we, sh that I showed you. Okay, so this is the pot of gold, and it looks 
like a pot of gold and it is so incredibly cute I didn't see this one I didn't want I wanted to wait to the last minute to kind of look at it to grab it from the other one um, really really cute look at this has glycerin soap olive oil fragrance color and 24 gold mica or mica mica or mica um so i'll update you I'll update you guys on what i think about this but this is so cute <laughs> this is really cute if you sign up for their subscription like their six months or their year one you do save quite a bit of money so i'll link that down below i am thinking of doing that but i am not I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> so I will see you guys next time. Let me know what you think of these products. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.